and I've done many videos of this mall. Um, this time I didn't do an, an update video of this mall. Um, just because like nothing really has changed except for the Rue 21 that is closed. But I'm just here to do a cut just these couple of abandoned, still abandoned anchor stores. I did the abandoned Sears like two to three years ago. I forgot when I did that. But here you go. Here's an abandoned JC Penny. An abandoned JC Penny. This closed in 2017, I think. It was before I started doing my channel. Otherwise, I would have definitely did a closing video of this one. So, yep, an abandoned JC Penny store. As you can see, check out that label scar. Now, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the uh, mall entrance shot, so they didn't board that up or anything. So, yeah, check check this out. Yeah, it's starting to kind of look a little crusty here. This building is 44 years old. Yeah, this was built in 1979, as opposed to the Bergners being built in 1974. This was part of the 1979 add-on to the mall. So you can still see the restroom sign intact there. You still see that font and uh, a lot of uh, open J.C. Penney stores. So yeah, Spirit Halloween was actually in here for the last few years. Um, during this when during the uh, seasonal times or whatever um, so I've done it so so there are interior shots um, I, I don't like doing spirit Halloween so, uh, that year I did a few spirit Halloween stores and looking back on those I don't like those videos <laughs> to me those aren't the highest of quality videos for, for my channel I'll admit it's I'll admit there's like some videos I've done and I'm like oh, really <laughs> but you will never ever see me do spirit Halloween videos anymore the only reason why I did those was to check out the aesthetic of what the store originally was I do not care about spirit Halloween they are only temporary tenants they'll like go in for a few months and then leave again and then lease it out again so yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was just here for the aesthetic, not for the creepy Halloween garbage or whatever. So this is a big old long wall here. <laughs> yeah, these were built like fortresses. Yeah, all the entrances to the pennies look like these here. Got that retro orange color here. And see, looking inside the mall, I knew these doors were open. So straight ahead, yeah, you can see the mall entrance over there. Right in the middle there was jewelry. And then I believe off on the left, off on the left, I think that was the children's apartment, I think. Or women's. I think I think like over the years they like switched the departments around. But I think the last thing I remember was children's being on the left. Or maybe even right here, I think. But it was before I started my channel, though, like I said. So, yeah, nice, good shot. There was no Sephora in this JCPenney. It was too small. There is a Sephora, however, now in the Coles. That's up north of here. I kind of wonder if Coles like didn't build in Peru. I wonder if this Pennies would still be intact. But Pennies was like struggling very badly. I remember like 15 years ago, Pennies was like unbeatable. I mean, they were they were the tops and everything. And then the CEO came in in 2012. I can't remember his name offhand. I think it was like Rob Johnson or something. He, ex he started experimenting with like some pricing strategy and it ended up alienating customers and then they put it back to where it was and customers were still alienated. All right. 
right. Came back around here. So this is the entrance that faces 251. Yeah, so yeah, if you were, if Spirit Halloween was here, you would enter right here. But check out that video for some like I guess interior shots of some of the aesthetic. I did the best I could with that. So here's another Penny's label scar right there. So three sides of the building had the Penny's logo. All right, and we'll get one more interior shot. And this is it's a nice sweeping view here. All the way across the store because this was kind of this was a smaller store. So like way up ahead, I believe the shoe department was against the wall over there, and then men's department was back in there too. Took up that side of the store. And then all the women's clothing was on this side of the store here. Yeah, so yeah, like, it, but yeah, you can see there was no Sephora store in there. And then the mall would be off on the left. All right, then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some interior shots. The, the uh, mall entrance shots, uh, because that's like very wide open. You've probably seen those in like other, some of my other past uh, Peru mall videos. So I'm going to leave you right here. I'm not going to be talking in there. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, comment, and share these videos, please. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses. Continue shopping at your local mall. And I'm going to have the end, but my usual end screen up. And that's where you subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, just click on that MA right there. And also, I want to remind you too, make sure when you subscribe, click on the notification bell as well. Make sure that your notification bells are still on. That way you can get notifications of new videos. Thank you guys very much. Let's go into the mall. Bye-bye.